what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 16 draft champions gameplay you guys see our 86 overall team this is a team we drafted about a week ago and I was like you know what I don't want to quit with this team I want to go and win the championship so I decided to make it a little bit interesting just so we can change it up while we're playing with the same team and only go for passing touchdowns we definitely have the squad to do we have Matt Ryan we have Michael Ignu we have Herman Moore so we can definitely get it done I want to see how many passing touchdowns we could get in a game see if we could break the NFL record which is seven passing touchdowns or just see how many passing touchdowns it takes to force a rage quit is Donnie Avery on the pun return trying to get that touchdown and break the rules by scoring a non-passing touchdown as Ignu gets the catch we get into the red zone goal to go situation but we're not running the ball we're not giving Carlos Hyde and James Starks their touches we're hitting Michael Ignu on the drag route and that's touchdown number one let's keep the tracker going as off the edge Justin Houston gets the sack we have Houston and Hall or Houston Holly that's the Chiefs lineup we have Houston and Khalil Mack as we find Herman Moore for the touchdown I think Justin Houston got two sacks on that drive as Herman Moore gets the touchdown gets on the board right there that's the 99 oh not the, the boss one or the golden ticket one but just that regular 99 he's still a monster especially in draft champions though look off the edge it's Khalil Mack and, and Leonard Williams as well we have a mean pass rush that's just getting to this guy but second down 21 he actually finds little Geo who he had at receiver I guess for lack of receiving options he had little Giovanni Bernard. You see Russell Wilson struggling already on fourth down. Incomplete pass. So not only are we dying this dude off with Matt Ryan, we are also playing some lockdown defenses. Herman Moore gets the catch and gets the touchdown. I got pretty lazy. I didn't run a wide variety of offensive plays. I was like, you know what? I'm running this one set of plays until he stops. This is once again, our pass rush is just eating this dude alive as Ignu in the corner. Got the catch. Almost got the touchdown. Got to the one yard line. This is kind of tough passing from the one yard line. Thankfully, drag routes are drag routes. So that was our go-to at the goal line. When we had to throw at the one yard line rather than just QB sneaking it in easily with Matt Ryan. And we already have four passing touchdowns. We are absolutely dominating right now. This poor guy, and look at his Dre Kirkpatrick with the interception. He hasn't thrown too many completions, so it must have felt good that someone caught a pass that he threw. Unfortunately for him, he put his hands in the cookie jars. We throw an interception right here. Trying to hit that same Herman Moore post route we've been dotting him up with all game long, but... He had a linebacker on Herman Moore. I was like, oh, that's easy pickings. And he actually picked it off. That was the best defense he played. And let me tell you something, buddy. I don't like to share. The cookie jar is off limits. Stop putting your hands in there. Drake Kirkpatrick, who is a pretty cheesy goal player, 74 overall. As Herman Moore gets rocked. I tried jumping the end zone. I don't know if you guys could tell right there. As Ignu is missed. Incomplete pass. A little bit of PI. And see, again, they're pushing Ignu. Because within five yards, you could put, even though pass interference isn't in the, um, in the game at all but in real NFL you could push a receiver within five yards and um do whatever the hell you want that you can push him down to the ground and that's what they were doing the agent but he still caught the ball the second time around as you see he takes a field goal before halftime this guy um I, I guess he believed he could make the comeback he didn't want to be part of a shutout but he got an onside kick right here I didn't audible I figured my um team would be able to get it but it's all good because first play he gives the ball right back Khalil Mack that was actually pretty good that he got tackled by Russell Wilson because we're trying to throw passing touchdowns and Herman Moore on this post route. He had a goal cornerback on Herman Moore, so that was just absolute abuse. Anytime he came out of man coverage because Moore just killed that. I mean, one-on-one, -on -one, you, you can't leave Herman Moore one-on-one -on -one like that. you got to send help in the corner or something like that, and especially if you don't draft good cornerbacks. you got to know your personnel and draft champions, and you got to know not to go at Khalil Mack. That's his second interception. He's got a couple of sacks in the game, dominating, and apparently it took six touchdowns to force the rage quit in this one. So we're going on to the championship game right here. Can we top six touchdown passes? before either the game ends or before it's a rage quit and can we win the championship at all all of this big talk are we gonna win the game at all who knows we got a pretty good team so i would think we're the favorites as herman moore breaks a tackle he's big he's strong and he's fast as well all the way one play and a touchdown as a result Good start. Good start. Definitely like starting off games like that. As you see, Nikhil Roby, that campus hero Roby, cornerback of the Buffalo Bills, getting a nice return right there as he rolls out and he throws an interception. Keep 
your hands out of the cookie jar. Off limits. George I. Loka this time shutting it down, getting the pick. We're right back on offense, and we're right back to running this split close scheme right now that I said in the, during the last game that if you're not going to stop it, I'm not changing my player, right? I feel kind of lazy, and, you know, I'm running that play, and I'm running some drag routes. I'm finding Michael Igno. Oh, Igno gets rocked. Loses it. Earl Thomas, I believe, just put that man in his grave early and uh, thankfully we forced him to pick up the ball at his own one yard line so he's got a really long drive to engineer if he wants to take it all the way for six points and this guy was actually putting together a good drive unlike our last opponent he's actually showing a pulse that he might be able to stick in this game as long as he doesn't throw it at us which he almost did right there, bringing up a big third down. He's got some nice weapons, including RG3. He's got Vincent Jackson split out wide, and on fourth down, he runs a fake punt and gets it in the middle. Unbelievable. We played lockdown defense for three plays, and I came out on the cover three on that punt coverage, and it still got dotted up. Don't ask me how as he takes it down to the goal line right here near the end of the first quarter. Robert Griffin, the third, intercepted. I don't like to share. I'm a greedy person when it comes to the cookie jar, man. Don't do it. So, we're a little bit short on our touchdown passing right now. But Michael Wigney is looking to change that with a nice one-handed catch right there. Keeping Matt Ryan's perfect game alive. And that is going to make it 6 for 6. Donnie Avery, what a dot right there by Matt Ryan. Back to the split. Close in. That should have been an interception. Intercept there right there. We dodged a bullet. But on the next play, Herman Moore breaking the tackle. Back joking, and we get a blessed little animation right there. That was pretty lucky. I hit the back juke, and Herman Moore somehow went forward and broke a tackle. So we're getting a little bit of breaks on our side in our championship game. We upped our touchdown passing number to two. I'm trying to get over six. I really think we could do it because this guy is you known. Not playing great defense. You see on offense, he almost threw his third interception of the game. And we're just sitting there. Look at that. I barely even moved. I just sat there. I knew he was going to the crossing routes. And this guy, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's playing this game blindfolded or what. I don't know what the excuse is for throwing three interceptions. As Igdu almost took it all the way. Almost had the juice to take it over 80 yards. Instead, Matt Ryan rolling out right for the two-minute warning. And he finds Herman Moore. Or everything is going right even throwing across the body as we almost picked off that fourth down fat pass it ends up being incomplete and we're starting to pick it up on the offensive end right before the two minute warning trying to get one more touchdown pass before the half is over remember we're not doing rushing touchdowns we're not getting interceptions or kick returns for touchdowns only passing touchdowns we're padding Matt Ryan stats as much as possible as Igdu makes his second spectacular catch of the game using only one hand as look at Herman Moore down the sideline he's gonna do it again Herman Herman Moore cannot be brought down. That's his third touchdown. Just tie rope in the sidelines like that. As you see in the third quarter, he gets on the board. He finds Vincent Jackson. We don't have any cornerbacks. So, um, thankfully, the last two opponents we played didn't really attack that. But he finally attacked it. Unfortunately for him, he is down 28-7. to And look at Donnie Avery. Man, we had a better kick returner than Donnie Avery. We could have returned that punt for a touchdown and that last kick. But once again, we're just trying to throw touchdowns and we threw a dime right there he had his user over Ignu. he realized what we were doing we've been running the same play so many times i apologize for being lazy i just you know what i said i was just lazy when i played this game is matt ryan overthrows Ignu right there but matt ryan is just coming up clutch every single time we need him including right here a touchdown to hide but it's going to be brought back loss of down and five yards herman moore it doesn't matter how far you bring him back he's still gonna answer the Bell. Four touchdown pass of the game. Oh my goodness. What a hit. The ball is loose and picked up. We're right back on offense looking for touchdown number six. Herman Moore almost got it. Almost got it. We're looking to tie our streak from the last game. Herman Moore out of bounds. Almost gets the first down. It is third down and one. Do we just go back to Herman Moore? You run man coverage. I'm running that little speed out unless you bring help defense because Herman Moore is going to kill it every time as Michael Ignew drag route six touchdown passes on the game looking for number seven as he gets the catch right there to the 13 yard line. Eventually on fourth down, he ran a fake field goal. Or, actually, this is Russell Wilson. I believe who almost throws an interception and this is actually going to unfortunately force the rage quit 
We got the six. We almost got the seven. I feel like both games, we had the chance to get maybe 10 touchdown passes. Just that these dudes rage quit in the third quarter. And they were running like hurry up offense and all that in the third quarter. They looked like they were going to stick it out. But um, they both quit. And we're stuck at six touchdown passes. So I guess it takes six touchdown passes to force a rage quit. If you want to know the answer to that question. So leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed us, you know, just dying people up. Subscribe for more Man 16. And I'll catch you guys next time.